American Red Cross is assisting 10 people whose homes were destroyed, providing immediate needs that include food, a safe place to stay, and other essentials. Maybe we'll have to stay some in a shelter for until they figure out where to put us. The force from the explosion knocked down doors and blew out windows. This stuff fell over here. Those Neighbor Steve Burnham, who lives a few streets over, says the explosion this rocked his entire house. We had even like dirt, I want to say dirt or uh, sediment coming out of the ceilings because the whole house shook. Burnham stepped outside after he felt the blast to capture this video you see here of fragments from that building floating down from the sky like snow. Now, that insulation is still stuck to lawns and blowing around in the area. I mean, just the insulation itself. I mean, how, how do you know how good that is to, to breathe in? You don't. As for those whose homes were completely destroyed in the mobile home park, they were able to collect a few items after the explosion, then had to evacuate. Police tell us the area is still off limits, blocked off with caution tape. Just everybody stay strong. I mean, if we stay strong in the community, uh, we, can, we can make things happen and build everything back. It'll take those families some time to get back to normal following this tragedy. In Farmington, I'm Talia Clark for WMTW News 8.